happy Sunday by the time you see this it'll be Monday and my channel will have a bunch of new content so check it out today's topic minivans are they for soccer moms adventure ready van life Jason he told me that he bought his wife a Dodge Caravan and she did not like it at all and he ended up driving it and liking it a lot and she ended up driving his truck I've heard my girlfriend mention that she likes the way Toyota 4Runners look so here's the cheapest one I could find with under a hundred thousand miles sixteen thousand dollars eighty six thousand miles so my girlfriend falls in that mentality of minivans are for soccer moms I'm trying to sell her on the idea of getting a minivan her last vehicle was a Lincoln town car big car Crown Victoria basically and she had to get rid of it because it was starting to nickel and dimer so she wanted to buy the cheapest small SUV that she could find and she ended up with the all-wheel drive Buick Encore she likes the vehicle but she misses driving a big vehicle she's, she's always had two vehicles so she had to get rid of her Chrysler 300 now she wants another vehicle her mom lives a couple of hours away so she road trips often and she wants something more comfortable something bigger to take on road trips to see her mom so I'm trying to I'm trying to sell her the idea of a minivan because I told her once you drive one you're gonna say this is nice the thing that sold me on minivans is my parents they rented one back in 2008 a Kia Sedona I drove it and I said this thing is nice Here's a picture of my dog hanging out in it. He didn't want to get out. My dog loves vans. Here's a video of him not wanting to get out of my first van build. And here's a picture of him in the Kia Sedona. He has a weird eye infection in this video. He needed some eye wash. But here's my dog. Kitty, come on. Let's go. Come on. Kitty, let's go. Kitty, come on. What's wrong? In 2012, my parents rented a Dodge Caravan with the stow and go seating. I like that even more than the Kia Sedona. Here's my dog in deep thought hanging out in the Dodge Caravan. Here's the cheapest Dodge Caravan I could find within 500 miles with less than 100,000 miles. This is eight years newer, $5,000 cheaper, and it has 84,000 miles. I told my girlfriend if she gets a minivan, I'll get the lift kit, the rooftop tent, and the cool front bumper for her. <laughs> so, minivans, are they for soccer moms? You know what, in my opinion, Moms are so afraid of minivans, they're so afraid of the image that all of them drive SUVs. And I think SUVs are soccer mom vehicles, to be honest. One of my favorite car reviewers is Curious Cars. Here he is driving the Army Hummer H1, and he's making fun of it, calling it a soccer mom car. So today we're going to say it's ladies' night tonight here at Auto Europa, and we're going to review this car uh, as such. So here you go. The ladies are going to like this. There's plenty of room to go shopping, plenty of room to stuff a kid in there. You've got little hooks you can zip tie your wiener dog or toddler down. He's not going to go flying around, but uh, I suppose you'd be able to uh, watch uh, behind the green door or whatever kind of strange movies make you happy when you're driving around. Of course, we're going to have chick flex in this thing. I didn't even think about that. So it's going to be Thelma and Louise or... Caligula, or whatever it is women like to watch. And there's all kinds of people looking. And I still, I don't understand why the men are all looking at this. They must think, oh, there's going to be some hot looking lady in that mom fan. Uh in my opinion, I think Brooke would like a minivan if she just tried one out. But it just has to uh, pass that soccer mom car stigma. Ever since my parents rented that Kia Sedona in 2008, I liked minivans, but when I saw that lifted Honda Odyssey that I shared with you guys multiple times already, and I had to pull over to film it real quick, 
look at this thing. It's a lifted Honda Odyssey. This thing is nice. Yeah, man. I like all lifted vans. You never see a lifted minivan. Seeing that made me want to do a lifted minivan build. When I hit 20,000 subscribers, I will do a lifted minivan build and expand my brand for this channel. The Honda Odyssey doesn't have a front end enhancement like the Caravan. But I think with the roof rack and in black with that red front emblem, it looks really good. So I'm considering a Honda Odyssey or a Dodge Caravan. A roof rack on a Honda Odyssey is just good enough. Roof racks just make vehicles look adventurous. Nothing says adventure vehicle like a roof rack. Even a Kia Soul looks adventurous with the roof rack. So let me know in the comments, guys. Are minivans for soccer moms or are they so ignored that they're actually cool? They're great values. Honestly, when you look at the price of a minivan compared to an SUV, even compared to a big van, they're, they're really cheap. I think it's that stigma that makes them so, so affordable. 06, 98,000 miles, $14,000 for a full-size van. I saw a blacked out, chromed out Chrysler Pacifico once. It was so nice that I don't think it would look good with the lift kit. I thought it looked good as is.